So I'm going to be going over the best crypto exchanges for dollar cost averaging. Now, if you don't know what dollar cost averaging is, I have an article pulled up on our website, I'll link below. But basically, dollar cost averaging is the ability to invest small amounts of wealth into an asset or security, in this case, cryptocurrencies, without having to invest it all at once. Now, this is one of the best single investing strategies for hedging or curbing risk. This is because when investing over the course of an extended period, the natural dips and rips in the market are less likely to impact the overall investing strategy. Now, there are really three main benefits to dollar cost averaging, the first being reduction of risk, the second one, which is a big one, emotional connection. Now, as cryptocurrencies rise in popularity, you're going to see these huge volatile moves where things will start going up and up and up and then crash. A lot of the time, people FOMO, which means to fear of missing out, and they buy in at the wrong times. Then they're stuck holding a bag uh, for months, uh, sometimes even longer than that. Uh, The last reason would be saving with intention. So dollar cost averaging combined with regular deposits in your investment account will lead to a disciplined form of saving for the future, which is another big one. Okay, now let's get into the exchanges where you can start dollar cost averaging. Okay, first up, we've got my top pick, which is Binance US. Now, Binance is one of the biggest crypto exchanges in the world. Whether you're using the desktop or mobile app, it's very user-friendly and easy to figure out. Now, as far as buying crypto on here, it's very easy. You can just you know choose your crypto, and then you could set up a one-time purchase daily, weekly, first and 15th, and then monthly. Obviously, you're going to want to go with the daily option. This is what's going to get you in the habit of investing on you know, a recurring basis without having to even think about it. And honestly, it doesn't matter if you're starting with $5 a day. As long as you get the ball rolling, you can start to tweak this over time. I mean, that's really how this, how this is. You just get in the habit. You see your accounts growing. And you get happy, you know what I mean? As far as the coin selection on here, it's pretty diverse. Um, you know, they add different coins on a monthly basis. So that's how all these different exchanges work. They've got a set amount of coins, but you know, they grow them over time. Now they also have some really nice trading on here for, you know, if you ever want to get into trading, you could set stop limits, things like that. I'm not going to get into this too much, but I do want to point out that yeah, Binance US is awesome for trading. The fees are super low. You're looking at 0.1 to 0.5% for buying and selling. Okay, also, if you have any questions about any of these exchanges, feel free to message me below in the comments. Okay, next up, we're going to get into Coinbase. Now, I feel like everybody is familiar with Coinbase. At this point, I have a little bit more money in my account because I have some long-term holds on here, but I'll pull up Ethereum and just give you another uh, example of how this looks, but it's basically the same. They've got actually the exact same looking options on here. They've got the daily option, the weekly Then you're going to have the 1st and 15th, and then the monthly. Uh, The thing about Coinbase that I don't like is the fees are a little bit higher on here for buying and selling. But at the same time, you know, this is really about getting in the habit of investing on a regular basis into crypto, and they do make it very easy. You know, you could choose what you want to pay with, whether it's like a checking account or debit or credit card, whatever, and uh, you're good to go. I'm also going to recommend a couple different coins to put on a recurring method, not financial advice, but I'll get into that towards the end. Okay, next up here, we've got uh, Uphold. Now, I've been using Uphold, I want to say, for getting close to a couple of years. Maybe it's been that, but I've been buying a lot of XRP on here, but they've got a lot of different coins as well you can check out. The cool thing about Uphold is that they have both stocks and crypto. They've also got Um, different kind of uh, equities, and they've actually got metals on here too. They've got national currencies, but Uphold is very nice as far as like the layout. It's super user-friendly. The fees are fairly low, and it's another one I would recommend checking out. Okay, last up, we've got Crypto.com. Now, Crypto.com is honestly the fastest growing crypto exchange in the world. I would say they're good they're not my favorite, but I added them on this list because the recurring method is pretty easy for uh, you know buying different cryptos. Okay, now I want to talk about the coins I would recommend setting up on a recurring method. The first being Ethereum. Now, Ethereum is a safe coin to get into. It's pretty boring, but if you look at where it's going to go over the next few years, it's going to go up in price. So, I mean, as long as you're averaging into it, I think you're fine, and it's just one of those boring ones that you'll probably get a steady return on. Now, another coin I would recommend checking out is the Crypto.com coin, which is now called Kronos. They changed the name. I don't know why. I just said a second ago, Crypto.com is the fastest growing crypto exchange in the world. Honestly, guys, 
this coin could be worth a heck of a lot of money in the next few years. So I think this one's a safe one to get into just based on the fact that crypto.com is not going anywhere. The coin will go up in value. Okay, the last coin I would recommend uh, because I love it, it's XR Pay, guys, XR Pay. So um, you could actually do a recurring method for XRP on Uphold. And, um, you know, uh, XRP, either you hate it or you love it, but it is one of the t- most talked about cryptos and controversial cryptos, but I love it. It's one of my biggest crypto holdings. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, thanks for watching it, and we'll see you all in the next crypto video.